What up, everybody? So the GameStop earnings call just ended, and that was one of the fastest earnings call today. I want to go over everything that happened in the earnings call. So let's start. GameStop earnings sales. 1.14 billion estimated 1.27 billion so they beat on sales earnings per share minus 35 cents estimated minus 38 cents they beat on eps however they did go cash flow negative which is something to pay attention to but the ceo did say that they are expecting to go cash flow positive within a few quarters so again this is something to pay attention to as well now the next thing i wanted to go over of course is the main part of this entire earnings call which is GameStop forms partnership with FTX which is also why GameStop is up 11% in the after hours kind of filled this gap a little bit up here up to $27.22 and this shows shorts are not trying to let this thing go zero shares available to borrow on stock tracker this wasn't like this before so shorts are stacking on and they are fighting trying to buck the trend, buck the momentum early and after hours so that we don't get a rip tomorrow. But again, on the daily time frame, you guys know the cycle that we're tracking and I think this is a reversal point. And I'm so glad in the video earlier when the market was still going, I called out calls on GameStop. So shout out to you if you took those. The next thing is that GameStop earned 0.4 million on their NFT marketplace in Q2. This is something to pay attention to as NFTs kind of died down a little bit or at least got less trendy and the fact that they still created this much revenue off the NFT marketplace in Q2 shows that they are doing well digitally. The next thing is uh, collectibles revenue was 223 million. Uh, SG and A down 14% in previous quarter, 900 million in cash. These are all a few key things to pay attention to. Q2 collectibles revenue was minus 20%, uh, 27% of GameStop's 2021 entire fiscal year, 824 million. 71.3 million shares are directly registered as of the end of July. That's 23% of the company. So this is actually a crazy increase on shares DRS. We've been pay paying attention to this, and we know that a lot of shareholders are paying attention attention uh, and DRSing their shares. So this says last quarter was 50 million. So retail DRS an additional 20 million of shares this quarter. That is crazy. Now the last thing is for long states, GameStop is focused on achieving, achieving profitability, launching first party products and supporting the company stores. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown right now. Pretty much the GameStop earnings call happened. They lost on a few things. They went cash, uh, cash flow negative. However, they don't have debt, so that's a little bit different from AMC, a company that's closer to going cash flow positive uh, than GameStop, in my opinion, but has a lot of debt. Also, GameStop has a partnership with FTX, which is extremely important. And the CEO thanked the shareholders, and the CEO said that they are focusing on stores still, which is kind of a, a little bit of a downside, in my opinion. I don't think they should focus as much on stores. But he said also they are going to be focusing on e-commerce, digital assets, etc., etc. So this is pretty much the breakdown of the earnings call. Hopefully, you guys taken something out of this video. Uh, and hopefully you played calls on this. If not, we'll see what the play is for tomorrow. I'm definitely sure we can catch something and get an opportunity. Smash the like, hit that subscribe button, join the free Discord down below, and turn post notifications on. Get your 10 free stocks linked in the description, linked in comments down below. I love you all. Lottery Stocks out.